this is a joke. I told that to school a few times. If it wasn't that we fought around every year for people running for president, we had elections every year. This is just between us. If you remember what the Halt Nine Ring Hazumen, when Schliske, he was an Ostrotter, down, the doors were packed. We had every big cousin in that shoe. Did anybody tell you that? I remember it was a Rosenthal. Kenter Rosenthal. I remember. Kenter Schliske. Kenter Leibel Waldman. Kenter. Well, I can mention, they all came, we were busy bringing those, so I told them, I told Zucker and all that, that's why I haven't got a shoe now, you see, and you have charged of mine, we didn't, if we had, with our membership of 450, now we only got 50, listen, and we'd move up further, we'd be a big shoe now. What has that got to do with the Chazunim you brought here? Because we spend more time with the elections and the Hazunim than we did with the other. Well, I know, isn't it though, the way I remember it? Yeah. Isn't it really, we were one of the poorest shuls. Yeah. Because even across from us, I was on Center Avenue, across from us from Center Avenue, yes. was the Polish shul, wasn't it the Romanian shul? And they were a modern... The, Polish, the Romanian shul was further up, yeah. and on the same side they made the Russian shul. Yeah, but they were a modern, the one across the street was a modern a shul. Modern, that was the Romanian shul. Yeah, but these people yeah. generally had a membership of our people who had already been doing a little better, economically. Yeah. And I guess the reason I felt that, that we were still better. back there we had more members, but I they were all essentially poor. I asked the, the millionaire to give us a one sorry loan. Yeah, and he probably yeah. had fifty thousand dollars and a few and a few bootleggers. Yeah, we had once in our shoe. Yeah, but that was all. Uh, uh, excuse me, I just want to make sure we get this yeah. message. Yeah, go ahead. Essentially, the Ostrovchers seems to me were the were the uh, poor ones economically, with exception of a few. Most of them were poor. Well, most except a few of them that. Yeah, like but the Romanian issue, and the other issue, issue, they were already yeah, business yeah, and, yes, and yes, that's yes, why yes. you didn't have, it had nothing to do with spending yeah. your time. <laughs> that was a good job, but it wasn't yeah. serious. <laughs> we, have a, we were too busy, bring, after we moved into Cecil Street, we were always too busy, and it cost us, when Bach Shul, you know, we had to raise about twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars to fix it over as a shoe. Yeah. The Ruben Kodesh token, that we broke it up, or we left it up, cost twelve thousand dollars that time and the seats we put in and and we were busy with the elections we were busy with the, uh, with the canters and our shul there was no millionaires I'm sorry you ain't a millionaire and a few uh, but a uh, few uh, bootleggers he wasn't a millionaire, millionaire. at that time relatively we speaking when we went to buy the, the cemetery on on the uh, Royal York Road. Lambert, uh, and, uh, Lambton. Uh, yeah, well, it's on Royal York yeah. Road. And we still, I think we're selling the cemetery to the, it's high, the, the half of it is empty. It's the first uh, on the north side. So when Sarah was present, it's our club. And that's over 40 years ago, about 45 years ago, when we bought that cemetery there. No, no, my father didn't have $50. <laughs> I know, I know it. 